So I've had a lot of people ask me why I decided to separate feelings and emotions. For instance, I have a little box of emotions book set and I have a little spot of feelings book set. Um, I also have the same thing with plushes. The reason why I decided to separate them as opposed to making them kind of the same thing is because um, I thought it'd be easier for kids to understand that kind of one leads to another. So for instance, this would be a frustration feeling and a lot of these or an unmanaged frustration feeling would lead to anger, um, a large, big emotion. And so if you can manage frustrations as they come your way, then you're more likely to avoid having a big outburst. So that was kind of my idea in the whole thing. So frustration is the feeling, Anger is the emotion, uh, worry is the feeling, anxiety is the emotion, things like that. It's another reason why they're the same color too, because they are part of kind of the same family. One kind of grows into another is kind of my idea. Um, it also goes for more positive emotions too. So um, a feeling of belonging leads to confidence. Um, the feeling of calm leads to peacefulness, things like that. And um, I definitely add more details in the book. So I think it makes more sense when you actually see the pictures for sure. That's kind of where all the ideas came from.